technical difficulties we are experiencing this morning, but luck is on our side now because we've got an awesome view of this black rhino. And the rhino is our animal for the day. For Let me get this right. It's World Animal Day, but we at Safari Live are making a week worth of World Animal Day. And the rhino is our animal of the day. So I hope you understand that all. I'm not sure which day World Animal Day is. It might be coming up. I guess it is. <laughs> but we are taking it to the next level by picking an animal every day for the week. And how awesome is this? He's lifting up his tail because he's a little bit distressed by the fact that there's vehicles around. So let's just watch you. You may charge into them. My name's Scott. It's great to have you on board. I'm teamed up with Craig on camera. Black Rhino are a lot more short-tempered than the white rhino that you see down south in Juma. And that is why he's curling his tail up like that. He's just not entirely sure about our presence and they can often actually come running up to the vehicles and turn at the last moment just to intimidate us hello to fan you'd like to know if rhinos are group animals like wildebeest and black rhinos are ordinarily solitary but occasionally you will get a few females together when they're raising their young. And the white rhino, the females can hang out in small herds. And I guess even young males sometimes hang out together. So there's a few differences between the black and the white rhino. This is the black. It's smaller than the white rhino. It's got a hooked lip. It feeds on leaves. As opposed to the white rhino, which feeds on grass. There you can see some zebra and wildebeest in the background. And it may actually even chase them. I've seen black, I've seen black rhino quite often chase other antelope around. Their eyesight is terrible, so they get a little bit nervous, even though they are huge and not much can mess with them. The fact that they cannot see very well makes them a little bit cautious. And that's why they swivel their ears around from side to side. Their hearing is very good. Wonderful stuff. Well, we got brought into this area because we were. Asante sana, Bwana. Hiyo habari mzuri. Shukran. <laughs> Hello again. I'm told I was sounding a little bit like a chipmunk squeaking at you. So it should be back in order now. Oh, there's a hyena in the background. Some zebra. And just more magical scenes from the Masai Mara. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. It's warming up. I've just taken two layers of jackets off. We came out early in the hope of finding a female cheetah called Malaika. She was nowhere to be seen, <clears throat> excuse me, in the area where we left her yesterday evening. So we've just been kind of cruising about. We actually, to be honest, saw another film vehicle racing at high speed across the plains. So we decided to follow them for a while because we figured they may have some useful information. But the speed that they were driving at and the distance that we followed them for started becoming a little bit too much. So we ditched them, but I mean, by following them, we got into this general area. And this is only the second black rhino that I've been able to show you since I've arrived in the Mara. The first one was actually on my first drive within the first 15 minutes. And since then, I haven't had many sightings and certainly not sightings nearly as good as this one. Now, I'm not sure if you got the little bits about the fact that it's World Animal Day at some point.
during the week. Us at Safari Live have turned it into World Animal Day. <laughs> And we are picking an animal every day. An animal. We've done leopard, lion, leopard, lion.